um, Viv was a participant in one of my groups and she had this uh, really weird tendency whenever uh, any participant was talking about their pain or sharing about their struggle with the group she would interrupt them and she would begin by sharing that how she is really resonating with their pain resonating with their story and then for the next 10 minutes she would continue to talk about her struggle and this has ha had happened multiple times in the group where i saw her uh, literally hijacking the group and taking the attention back to herself and uh, while she was still talking i came in and i said that uh, we would it be okay if i interrupt you and um, she immediately had tears welled up in her eyes and uh, she looked at me and said yes i took a pause and then i told her that um, i don't know viv if you are aware of this but i have noticed this pattern in you that whenever any participant is talking about uh, their issue or their struggle you tend to come in with this story of your resonance and then you end up taking the attention back to yourself and i recognize that in such moments i feel quite stumped and i i have this curiosity about what's really going on for you viv that you end up drawing the attention to yourself each time and i had i had barely finished talking like there wasn't even a one second pause and uh, we've just burst out crying and she uh, started engaging in this uh, self damnation and she started saying that uh, yeah i am just pathetic you know i just don't know how to be relational and i know that i talk too much and i put people off in me and i just don't know how to be with people in their pain like the only way i know to be with them is to talk about myself and uh, i i am just such a shitty person i don't know and maybe this is the reason i don't have friends and uh, you know it was just intriguing uh, when i noticed what was going on for me internally while i could clearly see that uh, viv is in pain and she is really troubled i was not able to connect with her i saw myself distancing from her and what was uh, weird for me is that in less than 20 minutes twice i was completely disconnected with viv the first time when she started talking about herself and the second time when she was you know engaging in this um, self depreciating talk and uh, i again mustered the courage to interrupt her and i said uh, viv i can i can see that you're in a lot of pain and uh, is it okay if i tell you something right now uh, do you find it in yourself to be able to hear me she took a pause um, wiped her tears and said yeah go on anisha and i said that uh, viv i've noticed that whenever i give you any feedback your immediate tendency is to start uh, you know engaging in self damnation or you engage in this negative self talk and in those moments i get completely disconnected with you and i don't know how to be with you and i do have a hypothesis about uh, why you do what you do would you be willing to explore she nodded again and uh, I told her that my guess is Viv that when we give you this feedback about your impact on others you probably experience intense shame and that shame is so unbearable for you that you probably get into this um, self berating conversations in order to avoid meeting your shame and I I also had this desire in that moment to explain to the group how i understand shame and i said to the group that in my understanding shame is uh, this experience of one's felt sense of self completely disintegrating in the presence of the other it is a sense of feeling um, absolutely unlovable to others and you cannot experience shame in the absence of other person shame is always felt when you are around other people and uh, many a times because it feels so scary we tend to do something else with our shame and then i took a pause and i looked at viv and she said she first heaved a sigh of what looked like relief and then she said that yani yeah, shaikh can completely resonate with what you're saying 
when you said what you did i just felt a lot of shame i felt like i've done something terrible and you know you probably hate me now for my patterns and uh, i couldn't even look at you and therefore i just i tend to like whenever anybody criticizes me i just join them in criticizing myself and i speak so badly about myself that others just don't know how to react to me and and i said that yeah i while i get this pattern of yours uh, we were i'm just feeling a lot of tenderness for you because uh, just the way we experience shame in the presence of the others the only way in which we can work through the shame is when we engage in a relationship with the other and when we engage in this relational space with the other and then uh, it's it's fascinating that while this conversation started with viv the entire group started looking at what they tend to do with their shame and the other participant in my group said that his tendency is that he converts shame into blame he gets very angry whenever anybody criticizes him or gives him feedback and he kind of breaks into a kind of a rage so that nobody comes near him and he pushes people away and this other participant said that oh my way of dealing with shame is i just crack jokes on myself i engage in such self depreciating humor that it just instantly lightens the environment and i don't have to deal with that shitty feeling though when i i'm alone i do feel horrible about myself but in that moment it is just humor is my style of saving face and the other person shared that her style of uh, dealing with shame was that she would immediately turn the camera outward and get into empathizing with the other person and looking at what's happening for the other person that they are giving her this feedback and that's the way she prevented herself from from sitting in the fire of of shame and feeling not good about herself and this this whole conversation became a very insightful experience for each one of us because all of us were experiencing some kind of shame in the group and yet none of us were finding the courage to be in that relational space and really work through our shame and uh, and i'm aware that as i'm uh, sharing this with you all i'm wondering what is it that you do when you experience shame how do you invade your shame do you tend to go towards it do you tend to run away from it do you tend to withdraw and isolate yourself or do you choose to engage with the other <laughs>